course, you know, I always ch try to check to make sure that we have all the ingredients downstairs, that we have everything. So I go down, I thought, I didn't look at the red cabbage, because I thought, we always have red cabbage, except today. <laughs> and I'm like, I went to the produce manager, and I'm like, Joel, where's the red cabbage? And he said, somebody came in and bought us out. And I'm like, well, I'm teaching it tonight, and they had two two heads of red cabbage. So I took one. I didn't feel like I should take both. Because this was, as you can see, this was enormous with the other, I already used the other half. So um, I said, well, he said, don't worry, I've already ordered it. So if you went down to look for the red cabbage, it'll be in tomorrow. But I thought, oh, we always have red cabbage. So I'm just going to start this. Actually, I think we're gonna start it with the um, onion. And this is, we're gonna put a couple of um, tablespoons of butter in here and get that started. I just like um, this kind of food. This is the kind of food that my grandmother cooked. She wasn't from Germany, but she was from Czechoslovakia, which I guess was, that was, what she learned was mostly German sort of flavored food. So this reminds me of her cooking, and it is good. You know, cabbage is very healthy for you. And really it didn't, you know, I always think that cabbage doesn't have the best smell when it's cooking, but when you put the onion and we've got some brown sugar to go in it, a little vinegar, it's not bad. The smell wasn't too bad today. And it's, like I said, it's good. It's something uh, different. It makes a nice side dish for um, really anything, pork or chicken. Okay. It doesn't matter because it's all gonna get cooked down. We're gonna go ahead and put that in, even though the butter's not quite melted, but we'll get that started. And you can put this in your food processor and, and uh, shred it all down, but then you gotta clean the food processor. So, and that's, so we're just going to this, this was a really good head of cabbage. It was, um, I think it weighed almost six pounds. <laughs> it was huge. And it was really heavy, so I thought, well, it must be a good one. All right, we're just gonna kind of cut this up. Okay, now well, we got that pretty well cut. A two pound, oh, I didn't put the rest of my stuff out. Two pound cabbages like this. So that's a two pound cabbage. I was gonna add some green in here when I didn't think I had enough of the purple, but I did have enough purple, so. Okay. And this is a good um, recipe for your crock pot. You're still gonna do this on the stove. Get your onion sauteed and kind of cook the, um, your cabbage and uh, um, apples down. And then you can go ahead and put it in your crock pot and let it um, just get all nice and soft and cooked and mellow and, and kind of leave it there. Now this, I know this purple looks kind of deadly, but it does wash right out. I thought, oh great, I'll have to Decloroxing the boards again, but it washed right off with soap and water. Again, I don't like to peel the apples because I think you you lose some of the nutrition value in them. But if you feel like you need to peel them, that's fine. Or if you don't like the, um, this one calls for it sliced. If you don't like them sliced, you'd rather have them diced. You can do that. The skin is a little tough. I used a Granny Smith apple, by the way. That looks good. Okay. 
All right, so we've got our cabbage, we've got our apples. We're going to add our uh, brown sugar, a little bit of um, vinegar. All right, that's all cut up here. This is just going to bring sort of a nice little flavor out. Not quite as good as caramelized, but pretty good. We just want to get it soft and kind of cooked up. Okay, that looks good. We'll go ahead and add our cabbage and apples. Out of sight, out of mind. All right, stir that up. And we're going to add our um, vinegar, just the regular apple cider vinegar. Ooh. Some brown sugar, let's say half a cup. Since it's been sitting here, it gets a little bit hard sitting out. Get it all soften up. And here is our, let's see, on our water. Okay, this one's water. Give that a stir. It does when you, there's a lot of liquid in the cabbage and the apples, so it'll, it doesn't look like it now, but it'll all, start cooking down and, and more liquid will come out. Yes, I would do that so you can saute your onion and get that flavor and kind of cook it down a little bit. Um, you want to bring it to a, we're going to bring it to a boil here. And then when you get to the part where you've got everything in it, it's all stirred and it's kind of um, not quite soft, but soft enough that you know it's kind of cooked and the flavors are kind of mellowing then go ahead and put it in a crock pot till it all comes together or your oven you know if you don't want to leave it on the stove it's, it's perfectly fine on the stove we're going to turn it down to a, a simmer and just put it on the back of your stove it, or if you've got some place to go I'd stick it in the crock pot and just let it you, you're this is one of those things where you're not going to cook it too much if you put it in the crock pot it's just going to keep blending and getting softer and you know um, just being good. Now here is um, our salt and our clove and a little bit of pepper. For our flavoring. So you can see now how the, the juice is coming out and it's cooking down. <clears throat> When you start, yeah, when you start cooking it down, and then we're gonna put a lid on it, which is gonna not um, evaporate the liquid. So that's gonna be, okay, we got that all mixed up. I think that's gonna be done for now. It is pretty much boiling. So we're just gonna turn it down, put a lid on it and just let it, let it sit. I think I'm gonna move it over here though. I did cook it all the way on the stove and then just stuck it in this pan and put it in the oven about six o'clock. So as you can see, let's see if I can spoon it. Ooh, I don't have any spoons. So you can see the apples have sort of disappeared a little bit and um, the onions are gone. So you can sort of disguise them for those of us who don't like onions, not me. And you can, ooh, it smells good. So there is our German red cabbage. I think that's good.